In this video, I will show you how to maximize the staff multi tool to highest damage possible in No Man's Sky, and we gonna test the new staff multi tool after we maximize it. And I will show you how to get the best upgrade in the staff multi tool. So why the staff multi tool is very important? The staff multi tool it has the highest damage bonus as the Sentinel multi tool. That means you can take both weapon to the highest damage possible. Both of them have 50 damage bonus. The alien multi tool it have 35. So the staff multi tool and the sentinel multi tool they actually the best right now for compact. To be able to maximize the new staff multi tool we need to make sure we have something unlocked. So right now we would like to go to the anomaly. And after we come to the anomaly, we would like to go to the research upgrade room. And we need to go to the multi tool upgrade. So right here, you have all the upgrade for the multi tool. There is all kind of upgrade weapon right here. But for this video, I'm gonna use neutrine cannon weapon. You can use any weapon if you want, but for me, I'm gonna use neutrine cannon. So make sure you have neutrine cannon unlocked. And we would like to unlock the B field for Neutrion Cannon. We need to have right now any good staff S class. For this video, I'm gonna use this staff right here. It's actually L4 supercharged together. If you want to get the same one, I will put video right now in the screen or down in the description. And the most lovely part to come right now, which upgrade is the best for the Obon? There is two kind of upgrade in No Man's Sky, S-Class or X-Class, or you can say illegal upgrade. The illegal upgrade in general, they actually better than every S-Class upgrade, except Neutrion Cannon upgrade. The S-Class actually for Neutrion Cannon is better than X-Class. So right now, we need to find this best station, it have Neutrion Cannon S-Class upgrade. I'm gonna go search and I will get you the glyph after I find one. I just arrived at this space station, let's go to the multi-tool guy. And let's see right here, yes, it have Neutrion Cannon upgrade S class here. So we would like to buy it now, and after we buy it, we have one right here. We would like to get about 20 to start upgrade Neutrion Cannon. It can be more, I don't know yet until you get the best stats. To be able to buy again, you need to go to your ship, and you need to create restore point, and you need to reload restore point. As soon as you come back, you need to go to the shop again, and you can see we can buy the Neutrion Cannon upgrade again. We can just buy it right away, and we have to upgrade right here. So we need about 20 to 30 upgrade of the same upgrade. So I'm gonna do the same thing until I get 20. I got 27 upgrade Neutrion Cannon module. We need to go to the multi tool. You can see the multi tool completely empty. And the damage potential 433. We would like to install in any empty area Neutrion Cannon upgrade. We can just install it right here and it's done. After we install it, we need to put in any empty area the B field upgrade for Neutrion Cannon. So we would like to open 3 S class upgrade Neutrion Cannon module. So after installing 3 upgrade, let's look at them. The first one charged speed 33, that's actually bad. The Ionosphere speed max and the Ionosphere created max. But the damage actually bad as well, so that the upgrade is not good. The second upgrade, the charging speed 35, the damage actually 10, it's also bad. The Ionosphere created, it's always max, so this one already max. And the Ionosphere speed is 12, that's actually very bad one. The last one, that's the one we're looking for. Charging speed 50, that's actually max. Ionosphere speed 13, that's actually max. And the damage 14, that's max as well. So what you need to look for, you need to look for charging speed 50. And you need to look for damage 13 to 14. And you need to look for Ionosphere speed 13 to 12. 
anyway this one is the best upgrade we need to delete the other two and I need to keep open upgrades until I get the best three it might take a while and I might need to buy upgrades again I got the best three upgrade here it actually took longer than I thought you can see the first one it's max on charging speed and the damage Ines feel speed is 11, it's almost max but it's okay. What really matter most is charging speed and the damage. And the next one charging speed is max and Ines feel speed 12 and the damage is 13. It's almost max but it's a great one. So this one we already saw it. So what to do now? You can see the damage almost 47,000. And we didn't even put them together yet. We would like to take Neutron Cannon to there And we would like to take the B-Field upgrade Next to the Neutron Cannon in the Supercharged And the 3 upgrade is class here We would like to put them in the 3 Supercharged And we are done And you can see the damage now over 150,000 And now you have the highest damage Neutron Cannon This staff multi-tool It's not even the best one so the best part about it, let's test it out. I want to show you my compact setting on the highest. So all we need to do now is test it out. Enjoy the test. And you can see I did finish it right here. I barely even got hit. Look at my health right now. I can say the damage actually very OP, but it feel like a sniper. I have no idea what is happening right now. I think this is the final boss. I feel like charging should be little faster comparing to the damage it have. It's really very OP. After maximizing the new multi-tool staff, if you want to get the best exosuit upgrade in No Man's Sky, make sure to watch this video, it will show you how. I love you guys, and see you guys next time.